obviously, can you tell me what went into this camp for you and what changes you what what you did for this camp and where you trained? Because you told me you traveled a little bit for this one. Yeah, um, I was in. I moved to Vegas in last October. Um, Extreme Couture, so I was there for a number of months training, um, and I finished a fight camp in London, um, well in England, um, down at Titan Fighters, which like, we've got some great fighters there as well, um, and also with Rob, who's been helping me out, an old training partner, so 18 years we've known each other, so to be honest, I, I covered all bases, you know, um, for me, I am a striker, um, so it's important to make sure you are doing what you're good at, not to forget it. I did. I was working a lot on my wrestling and stuff like that as well, but um, obviously tonight it didn't quite go how I hoped it would. You know? I'm gutted. You know, I'm not going to lie. You, know? you can see it in my face. But, um, that's a sport, right? Speaking of the fight, you, it, it started out very quickly. Did you expect the fast pace? Uh, yeah. To be honest, I wanted a fast pace. Um, <laughs> So yeah, yeah, I did. I, like I said, I didn't think the fight was ever going to go the distance. I don't think anyone did. It was going to be a knockout or submission. Um, yeah, and obviously it was submission. <laughs> so yeah, I, you know, I'm, 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 you know, I'm, I'll go home and cry and whatever. Um, I won't, you know, see me do that, and uh, I'll be back, you know. And uh, you know, credit to him. He's a great guy. He's a great jiu-jitsu guy. Um, I knew that as well. So you know, full respect to him. You know, but um, yeah, it'd be nice to get some revenge <laughs> later on. Was he who you thought he was when you were in the cage when you were preparing for him? Was it the same guy you thought you were training for? Uh, yeah, yeah, I knew who he was. Um, yeah, and I knew he was a jiu-jitsu guy. I knew he liked he likes to stand as well. So I was, you know, it was a bit whether he will, he will strike, but yeah, like he wanted to take it to the floor. Which uh, hey, at this level, that's yeah, what you expect. You know, he's world class. So all the guys are world class. So yeah, he was a guy. I thought. He'd be. So you have another fight coming up soon because of the season format. How quickly will you get back to training? Um, yeah, I'll have a couple of days to relax, lick my wounds, and uh, yeah, I'll be back. Uh, to be honest, I want to go training now because I don't like losing. I haven't lost in a fight in over four years, so um, yeah, it sucks. It's not a nice feeling. And, uh, I want to, yeah. Do you feel any more pressure now that you have to win your next fight because of the point system? Um, no, you know, you go, well, I go into every fight wanting to win regardless, so I don't think you can think too much, too far ahead and things like that. I want to win. I have to win, you know, I, but I'm all, I've am i always got that mentality in my head, you know, so, yeah, I'm naturally driven to win, so, um, no, I don't feel any extra pressure in that, in that way, no. Is there more pressure to get a finish? Because you need um, the points? Yeah, but I'm always looking to finish anyway. So, you know, I, I look to knock people out, not to uh, go on points. So. <laughs> what's, what's the experience like? Is this your first fight in the United States, I believe? Yeah. What's that experience been like for you coming here and then fighting in the most famous arena in the world? Uh, to be honest, yeah, it's, it's unbelievable. Um, when they told me it was Madison Square Gardens, yeah, that was you know, a dream come true. Um, also, it's kind of one of the reasons, because I, I I usually fight bantamweight, but when they said, you know, it's going to be here and blah, 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 it was a big, sort of, had a big factory in like, deciding to go up to featherweight for the first time. Um, yeah, to be honest, I've been treated great. Everyone's been great. Um, I can't say, I can't say a bad thing, you know, it's been fantastic, apart from the result, obviously. But, you know, I think that's down to me at the end of the day, and I'll put that right. Do you want to go back to bantamweight when the season's over? Um, it's too early to say. I, that's not, you know, I'm not saying that for any other reason other than no. no we'll see, we'll see, but no, not at the moment. No. Are you watching the rest of the fights tonight? Because it's all, all the featherweights are here. Is there anyone you have your eye on? Any idea who you want as next opponent, or have they told you anything yet? Um, no, I'll leave that up to the matchmakers. And at the end of the day, you know, you're going to have to fight everyone if you want all yeah, well, the best guys to get to the final and get the million dollars. So I'm still in it, you know, I'm not out yet. So uh, whoever they put in front of me, I'll, I'll face. And what would you do with the million dollars if, if you made uh, come back in one? Uh, buy a house, I should think. <laughs> not be poor anymore. <laughs> awesome, thank you so much. No worries.